Hi everyone, in today's video, I'll be showing you my best and worst drugstore sunscreens for the face. Even though we are wearing face masks, sunscreen is still very important and it should not be skipped. So this summer, I was on the hunt for the best affordable sunscreen on the market. When it comes to face sunscreen, I have three criteria, white cast, scent, and texture. This summer, I've tested out six different sunscreen and now I'll be sharing with you my final verdict. Let's start with the worst sunscreens. The worst one that I've tested was the Bear Republic Mineral Sunscreen. This is a mineral sunscreen, also known as a physical sunscreen because it acts as a physical barrier between you and the sun's UV rays. Therefore, it reflects UV radiation. The biggest downside of mineral sunscreen is that they tend to have a visible white cast on your skin. Initially, I was very intrigued by this product because it's marketed to be a gel lotion, but I was disappointed when I tested it out on my face. The formula is quite thick and it left a very noticeable white cast. The scent isn't too bad, it doesn't have an intense sunscreen smell, but the thing is, if you don't rub it in enough, it ends up looking very chalky and streaky. On the other hand, if you rub it in too much, it starts to pill on your skin. It's really strange. Even when I found the perfect middle ground, I realized that it's a very drying formula and it's also the most expensive out of all of them. Next, I have the Neutrogena Liquid Sunscreen for Sensitive Skin. This is a mineral sunscreen. It's ideal for people who have sensitive skin because it's free of irritating chemical ingredients. I like the fact that it's compact and portable, so you can take this with you on trips and it's not going to take up too much space. It's a liquid sunscreen, so it has a water-like texture. This felt very greasy on my skin and it left a very noticeable white cast. It claims to be fragrance-free, but it has this weird plastic smell to it that I'm not a fan of. It's also on the pricier side for the amount that you get. Next, I have another Neutrogena product. This is the Clear Face Sunscreen. This is a chemical sunscreen, which means that it blocks UVA and UVB rays by turning them into heat, which is naturally released by the body. And this is ideal for acne prone skin because it claims to be breakout free. This does have a white cast, but the white cast level is not as high as the other two that I mentioned, but I can still see it on my face. The texture is very thick at first, but it becomes lightweight when you rub it onto your skin. And I found the sunscreen to be quite drying. It definitely clinged onto the dry patches on my skin. It also has that typical sunscreen scent, which I don't like. Now time for the best sunscreens. The first one that I have is the Sunbum Face Sunscreen. This is a very popular drugstore sunscreen. I feel like I've seen this in every single Summer Essentials video and I can understand why it's amazing. This is another chemical sunscreen. The formula is very liquidy and runny. It feels a little oily at first, but it dries down to the touch. When it dries down, it does not look greasy at all. It's invisible under makeup. I just love how natural it looks on my face. There's no white cast, thank goodness, and it feels very lightweight. In terms of the scent, it smells like a normal sunscreen to me even though it claims to be fragrance free. Next, I have the Hawaiian Tropic Weightless Face Sunscreen. This is another chemical sunscreen. I like the packaging on this one because it has an easy to use pump so it's less messy and I can control the amount that comes out of it. It's also very small and compact which makes it very convenient for travel. This is the one that I keep in my travel toiletry bag. It's slightly tinted, but once you rub it in, it dries down clear and undetectable. And it's made out of silk protein and shea butter, so it's very moisturizing. I like this because it acts as a moisturizer as well as a sunscreen. It also wears really well under makeup. It does not smell like sunscreen either. It has a very nice beachy scent. I love the smell of this one the most. I saved the best for last. It is the Aveeno Protect and Hydrate Face Sunscreen. This is another chemical sunscreen. This is my favorite out of all of them because it meets my criteria and it has the best value. This comes in a lotion form, so it feels and smells like a lotion. It almost smells like nothing to be honest. The formula is so lightweight and breathable. It blends flawlessly into the skin. There's no white cast and it looks great under makeup. I also threw in a bonus one. This is not technically a sunscreen, it is a makeup primer. This is the Milani Prime and Protect Face Primer with SPF 30. So this is perfect for people who don't want to pack a lot of products with them when they're traveling 
or don't have a lot of time to get ready in the morning or just simply don't want to layer on products after products on their face. So this is great. It's a two-in-one product. It glides on very easily and a little goes a long way. Because it's a face primer, it will not only work well under makeup, but it'll also help improve the look of your makeup. And that concludes my best and worst drugstore face sunscreens of the summer. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this helpful. And if you did, please don't forget to thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel. And I will just see you in my next video. Okay, bye guys.